All right, so how ScylaDB and DynamoDB compare? Let's talk about that. So what we are looking at here is the ScylaDB monitoring showing we have a three node cluster sustaining about half a million operations per second. Unlike DynamoDB, where you provision individual tables and manage different capacity settings for each, in ScylaDB you simply provision a single cluster and the single cluster is able to service traffic for multiple tables at once. So in ScylaDB there is no such thing as managing on-demand or provision capacity on a per table basis. And what we are seeing now is that each CPU assigned to the ScylaDB cluster was handling above 5,000 operations per second. Because a ScylaDB deployment runs dedicated to you, we also never throttle you down, which means that pretty much you can scale indefinitely as much as you need. However, what about elasticity? After all, uh, we know server resources are limited. Well, DynamoDB users often rely on outscaling to automatically adjust traffic patterns to accommodate gradual traffic growth. And uh, as we are seeing now in the screen, ScylaDB scales even faster than DynamoDB. So just like that, in less than minutes, we, can, we doubled your existing cluster capacity and uh, we are now free to double traffic. What about uh, latencies? We are going to see about that shortly, but you can see that pretty much the database worked uh, really nicely and very fast to balance all the incoming workload across the new replicas which just joined the cluster. And latencies were kept steadily low and right after the scaling operation, they went back to nominal level. Here's another plus ScylaDB has compared to Dynamo. We have our own cache implementation. You no longer need to worry about using Elastic Cache or DynamoDB Accelerator to keep your latencies under control. Just ditch your cache and enjoy all the cost savings and simplified application development for us and for all. ScylaDB is also smart enough to prefer replicas with a hot cache than colder replicas. And this, of course, helps with ensuring that your tail latencies are kept under control. So after the scaling is complete, we can see now that our cluster is pretty idle. So let's create a bit more noise here. I basically scaled uh, our, our traffic and we are basically going to try to reach 1 million operations per second since we've doubled our cluster capacity. And traffic, as we are seeing, starts to ramp up. And uh, boom, that's it. One million operations per second. That's simple. And so here goes really a question to you. How much such a workload would cost in AWS DynamoDB? I highly encourage you to check out AWS own calculator and run the numbers by yourself. And of course you may say, well, Felipe, one million requests per second is a bit insane. I don't have anything like that. And that's fine, as with ScyllaDB you can pretty much scale as you go, start small and then add capacity as needed. This is also the perfect time for me to talk about workload prioritization. So now what we've done here is basically we started a secondary workload in parallel to the one uh, which was consuming, which is consuming 1 million operations per second. Oftentimes your organization may have tens, hundreds, or even thousands of DynamoDB tables each with varying char characteristics. And uh, workload prioritization basically allows you to define different priorities on a per workload basis, such that in case there is resource contention, the database will basically prioritize your requests uh, according to the levels you define it up front. So, what we are seeing here is basically in the ScyllaDB Advanced Dashboard, we have real-time in secondary and the real-time workloads receiving 10 times more CPU capacity than our secondary uh, workload. Our next and final step is, of course, let's scale our workload back down. After uh, we reach 1 million operations per second, our workload will then get back to its steady state of half a million operations. And then we are, of course, going to remove nodes from the cluster. So, of course, the opposite process will take place in just under just a few minutes. And uh, this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. As a reminder, ScyllaDB is also cloud agnostic, so you may run it uh, pretty much anywhere, even across multiple clouds and uh, even on-prem, which of course is um, something you are unable to do with DynamoDB. And uh, as you can see, boom, just like that, we are scaled down and are back to steady state. 
So if you are interested in learning more about ScyllaDB and how we can help you reduce your DynamoDB spends, please reach us out at ScyllaDB.com. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this demo and that you are now curious to learn more about ScyllaDB. Um, feel free to reach out should you have any technical questions or sign up for the ScyllaDB Cloud free trial so you can experiment with and prove the value of ScyllaDB by yourself. Thanks.